Hello and welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to paint these cute fluffy bunnies using watercolor and salt. So let's get started. So I'm going to start out by sketching the bunnies. I have my Saunders Waterford paper here, cold press on a block. And I'm just going to start with the little brown bunny. And since he's fluffy, I don't want to outline the entire shape. I'm going to use uh, a few little um, just pencil marks to kind of get the idea of where I want the paint to go. Because I don't want to have a hard pencil line underneath the fluffy fur because then it's not going to look um, very um, well, realistic. Um, and you, you don't want to see the pencil going in the wrong direction. So I'll kind of show you what I mean. So I'm going to start with, I'm just going to lightly sketch, starting with the ear. And this ear's behind it. The ears aren't too fluffy, so I can leave a bit of a outline here. I'm just really lightly going to sketch the shape of the face. And put the eye where it goes. Let's add a little bit more light. That would be helpful. There we go. So this is where I just want to make few little strokes just suggesting the direction of the fur. Same along with the back. Give him a little fluffy tail back here. Draw the back foot. to lower that back foot there. Find my eraser. that tail. And I think the fluff maybe goes out a little bit more. I'm happy with that one. So that's going to be our little brown bunny. We'll do our little gray bunny here. This one, he'll be facing more head on. The nose is right about here.
fix those eyes a little bit here. Give them a little bit of a lower nose. Same for his body, just kind of doing the pencil strokes in the direction of the fur. I can't see his feet in the reference photo, but I'm just going to make these little, little feet here sticking out from the bottom of his fur. My back foot there and also that little tail, which is also hard to see in the reference photo, but I want the bunnies to have tails. <laughs> okay, I think I'm ready to paint. I'm gonna start with the brown bunny and for both of these, I'm going to use Burnt Sienna by a pretty little Easter themed plate here. And some French Ultramarine. And I also want to use a little bit. I have quinacridone deep gold. Which is a little bit like burnt sienna, but it's more transparent. It's also a little bit more vibrant. To make it look realistic, I'm gonna um, neutralize it a little bit with that French ultramarine. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to wet the bunny everywhere except the eye. I'm going to go over those pencil lines. I'm going to start with this quinacridone gold, add a touch of that blue. Make it nice and watery, so this is going to be the lightest layer. I'm just going to start right about here. It spreads really nicely. And go around that eye.
use the tip of my brush just to make a little bit of, drag it out, make a little bit of a furry, furry outline. I kind of lost the tail there, so let's kind of put that back here. Right now, I'm going to add a little burnt sienna and some of those darker areas mixed with a tiny bit of French ultramarine to make a brown color and right up here on the neck the feet belly tail also on the tops of the ears painted these ears together wet on wet so I, I want to not let one bleed into the other the second layer I can go in and add a little bit of shadow there. Let's make that a little bit darker. Same with the feet. Okay. I want to soften this hard edge right around the eye, so I'm just going to rinse my brush and fan that out. Now while the bunny's still wet, add a little more texture. I have some coarse rock salt and some finer table salt. So I'm just going to take a few sprinkles of the rock salt, sprinkle that around fairly evenly. It's almost too dry for this to work, but we're gonna hopefully get a little bit of texture here. We'll let that one dry. I've learned to always put the caps on these when I'm done using them because I have spilled it all over my wet paper before and that is not fun. All right, next for our little gray bunny. I'm gonna use the same burnt sienna, French ultramarine, First, I'm going to get the bunny all the way wet. Except for the eyes.
So this one was more brown. I'm going to make this one more gray. So that's going to mean a little bit more blue and a little bit less burnt sienna. Get nice and watery. And the bigger the brush you can get away with using, the, the easier it'll be, number one, to get the coverage before the paint or the, the paper dries, but also it'll help keep you loose and help keep you from overworking your painting. My, my hand dragged into the paper a little bit. Just block that up. All right, I have a bit of a puddling going on here on the face, so I'm just gonna carefully tilt the paper a bit. I've got a little salt falling off, that's okay. So it's still quite wet and puddly, so I'm just gonna wait a minute or so before I start adding the deeper gray color on the face and the ears because I want to have a little bit more control over it. But I am really liking the texture of the paper already working on this bunny using the granulation of the French ultramarine. It just kind of adds to the, the effect we're going for, so that's really cool. Okay, I think I can go ahead and do the feet. By the time I'm done with that, hopefully the ears and the face will be dry enough for me to do a little more controlled wet and wet. All right, let's... it's a little too blue. Let's get a little bit more sienna there. The shadow along the back of the tail there. Right. I think the ears are ready for me. So let's start at the top. I'm just tapping here. Keep getting my hand in there. And let's get his little face. Great. 
makes the ears a little bit. I'm gonna leave this open space here to do a glaze of a peachy color. salt I don't want to put the big granules on his face I just kind of want to keep it on the furry fluffy body This one's still a little damp, so we'll wait for both of these to dry, and then we'll do the next step. All right, the salt is dry on my brown bunny, so I'm just going to gently scrape it away. I'm going to use a credit card for this. There's a piece of uh, cardstock. not completely dry you're gonna smear the paint so just be patient make sure it's dry and I'm gonna use my little fan brush just to wipe that away all right now we can do a few shading and some details I'm gonna start by separating these ears out so I'm just gonna wet my brush just gonna paint this back ear with the water. Don't want it too wet. Paint the whole ear so that I don't end up with a hard edge where the water line stops. I'm just gonna take a little bit of that brown. Lot, kind of push it into that the rest of that ear there. I'm gonna have the little nose separated there from the, the muzzle. So again, I just added a little little brown there, just on the dry paper. Rinse and blot my brush, and I'm just lightly smoothing that out. Okay, I'm gonna use my first, let's mix up a deeper concentrated black from these colors, because I'm gonna paint the eye. I'm gonna take my smaller detail brush This is an Escoda Kronos size 2. The other one I was using was Escoda Kronos size 8. I'm just going to paint the eye here. I'll leave a little highlight. If you forget the highlight, you can always add it later with a little bit of acrylic paint or gouache. And I'm going to add a couple little, and some separation here for the toesies. Back 
back to my bigger brush, I'm going to get some more of that brown. I'm just adding a little bit of deeper shadow here on the bottom. Rinse, blot. Just smooth that out. Just kind of pushing it into the dry paper here in the direction that the fur is growing. I'll do the same for the back here. A bit warmer brown for this back arm that's uh, behind the chest. Give it a little bit more dimension. Again, rinse, blot, and blend. I think this shadow could be a little warmer itself too. Any bit of actually don't need that I need this quinacridone rose put a tiny bit of that don't need much I'm gonna mix that with a little bit of that quinacridone gold peachy color. Just for the inside of that ear. separation here where the nose is. Okay, that bunny's done. Let's work on our little gray bunny friend. Again, I'm just going to use my scraper. This, this guy will start at the ears. So I'm just going to carefully re-wet
wetting the entire ears. Use that same hint of a peachy blushy color. And just add it in there. Now for the eyes. I can't see where I put his little nose and mouth, but it's right about here. Blend out that the bottom of that line there just a bit. Give him a little chin. Blot that a little bit. It's a little too much. Too wet right there. That a little darker. Right, and do the same thing. We'll make a little bit of a deeper shadow color here. This time I'll pre-wet it. Behind the tail. Just add that deeper gray. And optionally, give them some little little feet. And very delicately, let's give them some whiskers. Blend that out a little bit more down here. Other bunny needs some whiskers too. Let's make them more of a brown color. I'm barely touching the tip of my paintbrush of the paper and I'm going quickly. I don't want to have a wobbly line so it helps to go a little bit more quickly. 
Do another layer of color in these eyes, make them nice and nice and dark and shiny. Oops. I lost the highlight. Let's fix that real quick. Tiny bit of my gouache here. Let's go ahead and make this a bit more of a highlight as well. All right, I think these turned out super cute. It's interesting how the texture just, I don't know if it was based on the timing or the pigments, but the texture of the salt looks differently on this bunny than it does on this one. So they, they both came out with texture, but, but different. Once I finished painting the bunnies, I thought they looked a little uncomfortable and maybe needed to be surrounded by a little bit of grass and flowers, so I decided to add in some simple greens at the end. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, then please give it a thumbs up as this helps my small channel to grow and reach more watercolor enthusiasts like you. Also consider subscribing to my channel for more art tips, techniques, and tutorials. Also, if you would like a free watercolor techniques e-guide plus video demonstration, then please visit my website createwithaura.com forward slash free to get access to the guide, the video, and also the line art gallery, which includes outlines for my YouTube videos, including these cute little bunnies. Until next time, happy painting!